G'day guys, how are you going? Just let you in on a little secret. We are not awesome all the times. I make mistakes, I overlook stuff. Um, most plumbers in my company do make mistakes. Um, there's a lot of plumbers that don't make mistakes out there, but this, that's not us, all right? We're always trying to uh, continually get better and improve every day, every day. Uh, also, there's another um, saying that you've probably heard of. There are two sides to every story. Well, there's actually two sides to every review as well. Now, I've just copped a one-star review on Facebook from a job that we did about 12 days ago, okay? Now, what happened, we had, went out to a, a blockage. On the first phone call, there wasn't any mention about what sort of blockage it was, which is fine, okay, no worries. So when, uh, when Josh went out there and um, to have a look, the basin was really badly blocked, okay? It wasn't flowing much at all. So he's got out there with the jetter and he's, he's working it away and he's hitting something solid, little bits of concrete and rock are coming out of the basin pipe. And um, anyway, he's, he's, he thought, oh, look, something, something's gone wrong here. So he shoved the camera up the drain and there's a massive clump of concrete that he's, most, he's knocked most of it away on this bend, okay? So during the build or renovation, it must have gone in there and, uh, and blocked it up. So he, he said to the customer, look, I've done as best I can. The best thing to do is probably put a bit, little bit of hydrochloric acid in there. It'll break down that concrete block and then hopefully it will, it, it'll flow down. Okay. Now, um, there was talk of a shower being blocked as well. And it's, I've, I've got a video on, on the job that it, it was a little bit, but anyway, um, obviously Josh has, although I've looked at, but anyway, um, 12 days later after the job, um, we, we copped this review and I'll, I'll, I'll read it out to you. It's from a bloke uh, named Robert Atwood Taylor. And he says, we paid $350 for an unresolved block pipe. The plumbers told us to pour hydrochloric acid down the pipe, he's talking about the basin here, wait 48 hours and hope for the best. That was dangerous and didn't work. We had made, we had to, we had, had to get another plumber out to fix the problem in five minutes. He just looked in a different pipe. Beautiful plumbing, has all the gear and no idea. I liked how that rhymed, Robert, that was clever. Would not recommend at all. Now, that's, not a great review, hard to read. Now, so I've, I've called up Robert and said, what happened here? Which, which pipe did he pull out? So the plumber has come down there. I think he stuck his hand down the DG and pulled out a clump of root, roots, that, that Robert said, and he pulled out from the shower. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that shower was blocked. He goes, oh yeah, we, we, we let him know. Okay, that, that's cool. Um, so he's pulled that out. I said, what about the, the basin? Like, did he get the rock out? He goes, oh no, no, that's, that, that must still be in there. So I don't know if it's flowing, but maybe the hydraulic acid did work but anyway um, now tell you the truth if it was my house and I paid 350 bucks to get a plumber out to unblock a unblock a drain and the shower might have been blocked or whatever that's something that I would expect the plumber to have a look at and to you know to see if there is any roots in there and clear it out while you're there if you've got all the gear you know that's 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 fair enough I'd be annoyed too right but at that point that's when I'd put on my big boy pants and call the company and give them a chance to see if they can resolve it. And a company like me, of course, we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna to come to the party, okay? If we've overlooked something, then sure, we're, you're gonna be compensated for that, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll come to an arrangement. That's what, that's what you do, okay? Give us a chance. But Robert never gave us a chance, he skipped straight over that, went straight to Facebook and gave us a one-star review, which is fine. Robert, thank you so much for giving us a review, I really appreciate it because now it's, it's you know, spotlighted on what what issue that we had on that day. And so that goes into a toolbox meeting. So we're gonna talk about this situation that we've, we've had at your job and how we've overlooked the shower and we should have pulled those roots out. And then all the other guys that work for me are gonna hear about this situation. And so hopefully this will never happen again to another customer. And so we won't disappoint another customer like we've, like we've let, let you guys down. So anyway, thanks for review. You know, we're continually trying better to, you know, to get better every day and try and improve things with our customer service. And sorry we make mistakes, but if Beautiful Plumbing ever makes a mistake on your house or damages something, then give us a call and we'll, we'll come to a resolution and make sure you're happy. Okay, thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you later.